You remember what was the uh, Harold? If you remember, Harold was this very prim and proper boy who was very good in studies, had won many, many prizes in spelling competitions. And uh, what was his father? His father was a professional boxer. Okay, what was he famous as? Young boy. Young boy. And what uh, had they told Harold? That he was a commercial, commercial traveler. Why did they tell him about? So they had kept his profession from him. Why? Because of that time, was not. Yeah, it was not a very uh, honorable profession. And they thought that he would be ashamed, that he would be ashamed of his father's profession. And therefore, uh, they decided to never tell him. There is another character. What is his name? Major Percy. Who is Major Percy? Mrs. Tarkus. Yes. That's right. And uh, how does he look like? Very thin. Very thin man. And he talks a lot. People say he likes, he likes the sound of his own voice. Okay. That is major force. Our uh, Harry's mother, she is a very simple stay at home person. Now, Pandi, Mr. Rambler decides that he will fight his last fight. Okay. Who was this fight with? American. Yes. Very good. You remember the story. Have you done this in school? No. Okay. American law. And uh, how much was he about to get? If he wins, he would have got pounds. Yes. And if he loses, then he wins. Yes. Uh, so this would have really settled, this would have given him enough money to settle Harold's future. And he would have, that would have been his last fight and he decided what would he do after that? He would be a professor of one of his No, he would be, he would work as a trainer, trainer, coach or trainer in one of the schools. Did he fight his last fight? What happened? Okay, first he convinced him to not fight this bad fight. Why? Did we read that part? Okay. Are we on page 34? I've come home, he's come home. Mr. Babel has come home. There was an uncomfortable silence. Even Percy seemed to be at a loss for words. Mr. and Mrs. Bramble sat down and began to sob. Mr. Bramble shuffled his feet. When did this happen? When Mrs. Bramble realized that he's not going to fight the, back, fight, the fight, his last uh, competition, and they'll be missing the money. Talking of Harold, said Mr. Bramble at last. That's really what I am driving at. It was him only whom I was thinking of when I happened, when I hoped, sorry, when I hopped in from the White House. 
it would be written up in all the papers instead of only in the quoting ones. As likely as not there would be a piece about it in the mail with a photo with a photograph of me. And you know, Harold reads his mail regularly. And then don't you see the fat would be in the fire? That's what Percy pointed out to me. And I see and I see what he meant. So I popped it. Now, it means he said that if he, it was a big fight. It was a very prestigious fight. He said the news of it would be everywhere in all the newspapers, not just the newspapers which deal with sports, not just in the sports column or in the sports newspaper. It would be everywhere. So but so that I might get the news in the mail also. Personal, they will send the personal mails to me with my photograph on it. And you know, uh, Harold reads all his letters, everything that comes in the mail. He would have immediately, he would have immediately come to know. And then the fact would be in the fire. That means, fire means oil, or it will, or it will, so this is um, worsening the trouble. It means to worsen the trouble. To add to the trouble. Uh, and that is what Percy pointed out. And he also agreed and he decided to not fight. At the 11th hour, added the patient, rubbing in the point. Yeah, at the 11th hour, that means at the last minute. The 11th hour is last. You see, Jay, Mr. Bamber was waiting when there was a knock at the door. And a little ferret face man in a, in a bullet sweater and slightly cycling wrinkled walkers entered, removing as he did as to a somewhat battered ball of hat. Yes, suddenly this man entered. He had this ferret like rat like face. Okay, and he was wearing his loose trousers. Beg pardon, this is Bradman. He said, coming in like this. Found the front door ajar. Ajar. Ajar means open. Ajar. So came in to ask if you would happen to have seen. He broke off and stood staring wildly at the little girl. I thought so. He said, and shot to the head once first. Jen said Bill. Mr. Fisher said Mrs. Stammer. We reached it, said the major. Diving underneath the table and coming up the other side like a performing scene. Okay. So this man entered Jerry and when he comes in, sorry, sorry, I just entered with uh, I just knocked and did not wait for you to come. The door was open, so I entered. I I wondered whether I would look at you sat everybody was present. I thought so. And he rushed towards uh Will was uh Mr. Bossy. Okay, first. Uh, and Will shouted, Jen. And Percy, what did he do? Be reasonable. He said, Be reasonable and ran under the table and came from the other side. Yeah. Let me get at him. Let the intruder struggle to free himself from Will's restraining arms. This is Bramble wrapped on the table. Can you remember that's a lady present? Mr. Fisher. The little man's face became a battlefield on which rage. Is it my respect for that this is of social life struggle for mastery? It's hard, he said at me in a choked voice. I just wanted to take his neck for him, but I suppose it's not to him. I know it's him that's at the bottom of it, and here I can't find them together. So I know it's him. Well, if you say so, this is the I suppose I must not put a hand on him, but it's hard. Will, you come back along with me to the white heart. I am surprised at you, ashamed of you. I am. All the time you and me have known each other. I have never known you to do such a thing. You are such, you are such a pleasure to play as a woman. It all comes of getting with bad companions. Mr. Dapper looked at his brother in law, Mr. You tell him. He said, You tell him. Jane said the lady. I would, said Mrs. Brown. Tell him what? Ask the puzzled lady. Well, it's only that I am not going to fight on Monday. What? 
will have seen a certain crime there, said Percy, edging a few inches to the left, so that the table was exactly between the trainer and himself. At the eleventh hour, he has turned from his big face, wicked way, wicked face. You ought to be sitting with joy. Mr. Fisher, is you really the thrill? This ought to be the happiest evening you have ever known. You ought to be singing like a little child. A strange, deadened noise escaped in the train. It may have been a storm, but it did not sound like it. It's too, Jerry said with unhappy. I have been thinking it over, and I am not going to fight on the train. Louis said the major, that bless okay. Jerry Fisher. Three. You understood so far. This is a great explanation. Jerry Fisher's face was suddenly avoided in motion. His eyes seemed to be protruding from the sockets like a snake. He plunged to the I'm sorry, Jerry, said the I know it's hard on you, but I'm going to think of how. This part of the Jimmy Bob being what you call, being what you might call a kind of natural. In a way of speaking, could be reported in the way as like as not. With a photograph of I had a leads to the major We've been taken in from it for all these years. In fact, I'm in the profession. I'm being a little more. He would die of shame, Jim. He is appearing around. He is appearing in the cherry fisher's arms. Billy, he cried. You're off your head. He got the books. Ah, so he's stuck. Think of all his words that. All the swells, swells, swells that will be coming to see. Think of what swells. Well, please think of all the people, a large crowd that will be coming to see. Think of what paper, famous paper swells are. Yeah. Papers think, think, think of what the papers will see. Uh, will say. Think, think of me. I know Jerry. It's chronic, chronic, but hard. Think of all the trouble you have taken for the last few weeks, getting yourself into the into that condition. I know what's hard. You cannot, you can't not fight on that. But have it. Jerry, he'll die of the disgrace of it. He ain't like you and me, too. He's a little gentleman. I got to think of that. What about me, Tom? Said a young, beautiful voice at the end. And this is a bit on his blood and throws at the inside. His dog fell off and he goggled down. You <laughs> realize? Did they never realize that Harold had entered. entered? And you know what it would be? Yes. Then his spectacular screaming at the end of the gas His teeth growing from, growing with the exertion of the nice form. His eye was slightly elevated in its surface to Harold himself. How? Hello? Ah, hello. Uncle Percy? Somebody slept the door, ran the door. What are you saying about taking your name up? Ah, Ma, will you hear me? My piece of poetry again. I did not forget it. The poor adults are made the names to child and sons. On the basis of the three, on the basis of three of them, Consternation. Consternation was written. In the eyes of the poor, Mr. Fisher, then, then Peter could not, that nasty, steady expression of the man who sees his feet to get him a bit of his own car. Mr. Fisher was not unmixedly un un chivalrous nature. Chivalrous nature. He considered that he had been badly treated and what he wanted. Consternation means. They were worried. Okay? Three of them were worried that are you what if now he has come? What if he comes to you? And the fourth one had a nasty, mischievous look. Because he always he thought that he's been wrong. Okay? So he had that nasty look. What did most of the moment was said? He had been proud and proud of very proud. But those emotions belong to the dead past. Just at the present, he felt that he disliked it. Rather more than anyone else. Rather more than anyone else in the world. With the proper power, with the possible exception of major persons. 
So if you want to have it, all you want to talk. He said in a metallic voice. Then you just you listen to your word. Jen, cry to them at once. You keep your mouth shut down, or I'll talk to you. This official paid Jen and Rasmi Kushner is talking about this time. You better. He said, good. Mr. Krishna, uh, Mr. Krishna, you need a gentleman. And he did this, this is now. My dear sir, there was a cooking winning this in Percy's voice. My dear sir, do no, 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 do nothing hasty. 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 Do nothing hasty. Hasty is when you do something in a hurry. Don't go and be so silly as to act like a button. I'd be ashamed to be so spiteful. This is the father's school. Tom said this Mr. Fisher, ignoring them all. You think you are a pass, you think your pass is a commercial. He ain't. He's a fighting man doing eight stone four legs. Uh, I'm known to be all the heads as young boy. Young boy. Bill sank and Bill sank into a chair. He could see Harold's round eyes staring at him. I never have thought of you, Jerry, he said miserably. If anyone had come to me and told me that you could have acted so wrong, I'd have dotted him one. And if anyone had come to me and told me that I should live to see the day when you broke training a week before a fight at the National, I'd given him one for himself. You understood this? Like, Jerry was very sad and he said, I never thought you would do it. Jerry says, I never thought that you would quit before the nationals. I would have dotted the person who would have come and told me that. Harold, my lad, said Percy, you mustn't think none the worse of your pa for having been a man of wrath. He hadn't seen the bright light then. It's all over now. He, he's given, given it up forever. And there's no call for you to feel ashamed. Bill seized on the point. That's right, Harold, he said, reviving. I've given it up. I was going to fight an American named Murphy at the National next Monday, but I ain't going to do now. I, I, but I ain't going to now. Not if they want, they come to me on their bended knees. Not even if the King of England came to me on his bended knees. Harold drew a deep breath. Oh, he cried, shrilly. Oh, aren't you? Then what about my two bob? What about my two bob? I have betted Dickie Saunders that Jimmy Murphy won't last ten rounds. Understood? What did he say? See, this is, this is Harold. Okay? Harold is saying, oh, you won't? You won't fight? Then what about my two balls? Two balls means 20 rupees. Okay? What about my 20 rupees? That I have bet, uh, betted with Dicky Saunders. Dicky Saunders is the boy from his class. That Jimmy Murphy won't last 10 rounds. That he had betted on this young Koki. He did uh -huh. not know. He, he had betted that young Pogi would win and Jimmy Saunders would not. He looked round the room wrathfully. It's thick, he said in the crisp, gentlemanly voice of which his parents were so proud. It's jolly thick. That's what it is. That means it's thick. It's thick means, oh, it's nice. It's jolly nice. It's very nice. You know that way. That's what it is. A chap takes the trouble to study from and saves up his pocket money to have a bet on a good thing. And then he goes and gets let down but like this. Sorry. No, one minute. In today's terms, thing is good. I'm not sure what it was a hundred years ago. But he's saying a chap, like he's talking about himself. He studies well and takes trouble to save his money and then goes and puts a bed and, and then gets let down like this. It may be funny to you, but I call it rotten. 
And another thing I call rotten is you having kept it from me all this time that you were young Orkipa. That's what I call you jolly rotten. There's a fellow at our school who goes about swanking in the most rotten way because he once got Phil Scott's autograph. Since you, you kept it all these days, all these years you kept it from me, you never told me. I have a boy in my school, he goes about swanking, like you know, showing off everyone just because he once got Phil Scott's autograph. Phil Scott was not even that popular a boxer as young people. Fellows look up to him most awfully, and everybody looks up to him like, wow, he got his autograph. Fellows look up to him most awfully, and all the time they might have been doing it to me. That's what makes me so jolly sick. How long do you suppose they'll go on calling me goggles if they knew that you were my father? You know how long? They have been calling me goggles because he have wore those specs. They teased him all the time. Do you think they would have done that had they known you were my father? They had chuck it tomorrow and look up to me like anything. I do call it rotten. No, if they come to know tomorrow, they will stop that the next immediately. And chucking it up like this is the limit. What do you want to do it for? It's the silliest idea I have ever heard. Why if you why if you beat Jimmy Murphy, then have to get give you the next chance with Sid Simpson, with Sid Samson for the lawns their way belt. Jimmy beat Ted Richards. And Ted beats Ginger Nut. And the Ginger Nut only lost on a foul to Sid Samson. And you beat Ted Richards. So they couldn't help letting you have the next go at Sid. Mr. Mr. Fisher being a group. What did that tell you? The boy knew everything about the game. The boy knew all the players. The boy knew what is happening at the national level. He knew who beat whom. He was, he used to sit at home and study, but the boy also took interest in boxing. Fisher Fisher being a problem. If I have told you, uh, told your father that I have told you 20 times, he said, you suddenly know a thing or two wrong. Well, I have made a study of it since I was a kid, so I jolly well ought to. All the fellows at that place are frightfully keen on it, but chaps got a snapshot of it. Jimmy White. At least we see his kids, Jimmy White, but I believe it's just a ordinary thing. Anyhow, it's jolly blood. So, like, my dear, but can't you give me a picture of yourself boxing? I would smack like anything, and you don't know how sick a chap gets of having chaps called him problems. Wilson, Fisher Fisher, you and me had better be getting back to the white heart. Bill rose and followed him without a word. Harold broke, up, broke the silence which followed their departure. The animated expression which had been on his face as he discussed the relative merits of Sid Samson and the ginger nut had given place to the abstracted gravity of the school. Ma, Mrs. Trapper started convulsing him. Yes, dear. Will you hear? Mrs. Trapper took the book. Yes. Mother will hear you. She is. Mother will hear you, precious. She said mechanically. Harold fixed his eyes upon the cut glass hangings of the chandelier. 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 Be good, speak good, and let who will be clever here. Do noble things. Okay, that's the line from this book. And then he said, okay. He said, Bill. And Bill just got up and went because now his son was only saying that go play my. Why did you hide so much from me? What do you have to say about the lesson? <laughs> do you think it is right to hide? It was right on their part to hide. 
from their son. Why? What? The sun did not know. See, it was 100 years ago. There, were no, there was no internet. The photos would appear once in a while in the newspaper. So it was not very common. They would get the news. Photos were not so common. So, but it was not Sorry? It was not nice for them to keep it from them. Why? Because if even if he did not have an interest, he had to let them know about it. his parents, two professions. Okay. He won't he won't judge anyone. Just because he is a boxer or so. Whatever he is. won't, he won't or he shouldn't. He shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't and he won't. No, he won't is not acceptable. He shouldn't is the right one. <laughs> Whatever, if, even if his father is a boxer. He still is proud. So he can't just say, like, you know, you are a boxer, you can't do that. He can't say that. He won't say that. <laughs> and he shouldn't be ashamed if his father is feeding him when he was going to a private school. Now, in those in uh, European countries, private schools are very expensive. Most of the children go to public school, the government run schools. And those who go to private school are really well off. So if he can afford his private schooling and can give him comfortable life, and boxing was not his, he was not a boy, he was not a smuggler, he was not earning from any wrong by any wrong things. Then every profession is a noble profession that feeds your quota. He can even be anybody. And uh, still. So they were, they were completely wrong to assume that their child will be ashamed of their Okay, so that is the list. Put the, the sequence of the events has been jumbled up. Rearrange them and complete the given project. Just rearrange them.
tell me which will be the first one that's right second this is huh it's given yeah, that this is graph yeah yeah second is given third this is graph resume work of darning the sock fourth this major person will come to the house fifth yes is informed that bill had declared not to fight sixth bill tells his wife that he is doing it for now yes seven jerry fisher fisher tries to convince bill eight had a friend to know about Madam comes to know that his father is a boxer. And nine, Madam wants to know what will happen. That he has let it go. Yes, yes. Now do this. We need to do it. Have you already done?
These are some of the questions that we did write. First one. Tell the first one. Mrs. Bramble was a proud woman because she was the mother of a child. Prodigy. Yes. The very naming of Harold had caused a sacrifice on his part. The writer's tone here is satire. satire. Harold had defined defied the laws of heredity by yes. Harold felt that read the question. Harold felt that he was deprived of the respect that his classmates would give in class. They did not know his father was doing his books. Young boy, yes. Yes. It's hard to say after the death of the children. What what is hard about it was such except the children. No, to control his anger. To accept the truth. Mr. Fisher, you are boxing. Would you have boxing? No. To control the anger, she said, you know, that, see, it is to control the anger. She said, don't forget a lady is in the room. So he says, oh, it's hard. He corrected and accepted the truth. What do you watch about major Percy Stone's character from the show? He selected the most appropriate option from the ball. Yes. Major Percy. Four, five. Three, four, five. He was interfering. I think it's two, three, four. Two, three, four is not there only. Yes. Two, four, five. I always think it is two, three, four. He was argumentative. He was persuasive. He was but he was also still important. Yeah, so three, four, five would be five. Three, four, five. The only drawback of okay, K based on that. It's very perfection refers to Harrods. Gentle Marvin Manos are exceptional Yes. What was highly distasteful to both Mrs. and Mr. Bramble? Consciously choosing to lie. Yes. The fact concerning Mr. Bramble's profession must be kept from Harold because it would make him ashamed. Next passage. Three of them felt anxious because Harold had heard a part of the conversation. Get a bit of his own back implies taking pregnancy. Yes. How was Mr. Fisher planning to get his own back? And telling Harold the truth about his father. Mr. Fisher felt he had been treated badly because Mr. Bramble had called out his part of him. Very good. Good job. Now. Mm. Why was it necessary to keep Harold's father's profile? Okay. We have enough time, no? To do more? 20 minutes. Okay. First write these answers, then we'll write these answers. Okay. Here some answers are repeated. Some questions. Right. Question and then write. Write these answers. Why was Mrs. Bramble angry? Because Mr. Rappel thought to not to fight. Decided. Right? Decided not to fight. Decided to call off the fight. The fight with American war. American war. This fight was important as it was a national level competition. And if they are gone, they and if up. he and if he wins, he would have got he would have got five hundred pounds. Pounds and even if he doesn't win, he will still get one. He still 
would have got 120 pounds. 120 pounds. Okay, 120 pounds. That would that meant a good amount of money for Harold's education. For Harold's education. And now when he decides, and now when he decides to call off, and when he called off his fight, he was losing a huge amount of will you be able to write the whole thing? Should I get it? I'll read it. Step, step by step. Okay? Why was Mrs. Bramble angry? Mr. Bramble, are you writing? Mr. Bramble, who was a professional boxer, called off his national level fight with National fight with who? American boss. This competition. Given uh, this competition was important, this competition was important Bill, Bill is Mr. Rabbit, no? Bill would have earned or you can write the Bramble family in Bramble, both will see. Bill would have earned 500 pounds if he beats Murphy and even if he lost even if he lost, he would get, he would have got 120 pounds. This money would have given a good life, good start in life, would have given good start in life to their son, Harry. And therefore, Mrs. Bramble was angry.
as now uh, as they would not get any money as they would not get any money since her husband decided not to fight what had bill told her he was told that he was in for all of the what did so he tell call the three five what had yes so if you are born or even if we have appeared for the fight this photograph should have appeared in all the newspapers and mails and since i have a habit of reading the mails you would have got to know that his father is a professional person so what had been told her you will simply write that bill had told her that uh he had called off we told her that he had called off his fight with american mafia as he did not want her to find out this about his profession that should be enough if it is for one month if it is for more than one month then do write the entire explanation Did you get the question paper? I told you all to get the. So you need to very much about the question paper. I was not present for the presentation. I asked if an answer is. But if you don't get the question paper when you write the exam, ah, I mean that question paper. Okay, not the answer. Who who just wrote me the question paper? If you have a question paper and if you think you won't need it anymore, you can just give it to me, just to keep it as a sample. Ah, it's a school bag. Did you write the answer? What had Bill told? Bill told her that. He had called off but he would not fight with American Murphy as he did not want Harold to find out about his profession. Whose leg did Jerry want to break? Jerry wanted to break the leg of Major. Jerry wanted to break whose whose leg? Major Percy's leg. Jerry wanted to break Major Percy's leg. Why? Because he convinced Bill not to fight. Yes, and then he let us go. Okay, so about because Jerry believed. That major mercy convinced. No, I think I'm correct. Manipulated. Manipulated, okay, or convinced. Both words would be fine. Um, will to not fight. That's more than enough. Who's next? Did Jerry want to break? Jerry wanted to break. Major mercy is there. How many brief answers do you get? Question paper. For uh, out of that, you are supposed to write six. Six. Seven. 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 Seven.
evasion, evasion or evade means to avoid. Evasion means avoiding. Avoiding. Evasion means avoiding. Greedy. He looked at him greedy. He had grave expressions. Serious. Gravely, serious. Second thing, the fight for fights over, said the um, this one with me seconding him. Seconding him means seconding means supporting. Teacher gets to know that you have cancer, that means something has gone wrong. 
you will notice that whenever you cancel, you always lose half. So never yeah. ever cancel. In, in, not in a, not only in English but in Marathi. No, whenever there is cancellation now, my yes. my I'm just circle the same line. Like I cancelled it in Rapparoon and just a spelling mistake. Then still my uh, you know circles that particular board. Yeah, and also they will cut. Thank you. 